YouTube, it's Lena, and I'm here today with my Project Pan update. So I haven't finished anything this time, but I'm so close on several items that I think next update will be the finale. So let's get started. Now product I have not worked on at all because I am working on different lip products from my finished 24 by the 4th of July is the color I don't normally wear. It's the Buxom Lip Gloss in Trixie. It's still where it was before, so you know. Can't win them all. Next is the loose powder product. This is the Bella Pierre eyeshadow in Excite. And I did take the stopper out briefly so I could all the stuff that it collected up here, I could dump it back in there. And this is still mostly full. <laughs> like I only use this as an inner corner highlight. So I mean it I thought I had used up a little bit more, but I, I apparently really hadn't, so this is still almost completely full, and I'm obviously not going to finish it. Next, why do I have this all the way over here like a doofus? Next, I have Pretty Packaging, which is my Physician's Formula Powder Palette Mineral Glow Pearls and Translucent Pearl. I'm just trying to hit pan on this, and I have worn away all of the pearls in this little area right here, and it is starting to get a dip as well. One day, I hope to hit pan on that. <laughs> An unusual product is the Aveda Blue Oil. It is still, I've probably only used this like twice. It's, I knew this was not something I was going to terribly go through very fast, but I pulled unusual product and this fit the bill. <laughs> so, uh, multi-use product. This is something that, this is something I might actually finish in the next two weeks. It is the Living, Living Proof Prime Style Extender. So last time I was there, now I'm here. I feel like there's a bit of a bubble down in this, so I definitely think that I can finish it off soon. An Ipsy item is my Model Co. Lip Liner. This is all that's left, and I do have markings for you guys. So, it's all the way down here. My notebook is very messed up. Uh, I started here, and now I am all the way down here from, and this is the bottom point right here, so definitely doing good with that. I did finish the nude lipstick that I was wearing this all over my lips, so now I'm just lining the outside of it so it doesn't mess with the color of other things too much. Because this definitely makes everything pull nude, which is fine with, you know, nude lipsticks, but if I'm wearing, say, this purple, I don't really want it to pull nude. <laughs> all right, let's see, what's next? You, I've done this so much, this is like my 21st update. You'd think I would have this memorized by now, but I really don't. But um, let's see, uh, my blush, now I want to hit pan on this and you're gonna see some pan, but that's because I poked a hole in it and I think in two weeks I can expand the pan and actually call it quits. This is the Nude Wear Blush from Physicians Formula. And there is the tiny little fleck of pan. But like I said, I poked a hole in it to see how far down I had to go and I really didn't have far to go. I was, like I said, two weeks, if I ex actually expand the pan anymore, then I will consider it done for the project. Let's see. And nighttime products. I have two of these little whey pods left that I have not used yet, but I did use my RAP mask another time. So last time it was here and now it's down to here. Probably only has a use left in it, so next time it will hopefully be empty. Now these are together, so I would need to finish these as well for it to actually be a finished item. But just getting that out of the way would make me happy, honestly. Next is a product I hit pan on. I chose my Wet n Wild Coverall Face Powder. The pan has definitely expanded. Sorry, my lighting is washing it out a bit. Now I might actually have to repress that kind of soon. I don't think I'll finish it for this project, but you know. And lastly, I picked, I couldn't find my list, of my, my things to draw from anymore, so I just chose a product. This is the, I called it a free product. This is the Flower Stick Foundation. I've totally been using it, but it, it's only moved like just under the line from last time. So those are all my products and let me show you my palette real quick. So I'm still trying to finish the Lorac Pro. As you can see, I have made a good bit of progress, actually. Uh, pewter 
is almost done. And mauve and black and espresso all have a lot of pan showing on them. And as you can see, I'm using pewter and a mix. Here is, I just redid another batch of the mix right here. So that will still be hanging on for a while, but pewter itself should be gone relatively soon, which makes me happy because that's another shadow done out of this stupid palette. <laughs> when you get stuck with just the dark shades left, it gets a lot more annoying. Anyways, thank you guys for tuning in. As always, I do really appreciate it. And hopefully I will see you later. Bye.